everyone it's Jo here and welcome back to my channel I hope you're all well I'm sorry I've had a little bit of time off but I'll explain more in a little bit later on if you're new here I'm Jo I do craft videos I normally do three a week and then I do a Poundland haul every fortnight plus my charity shop finds if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you leave a comment I will reply and if you want to see more from me and you've not subscribed it'd be wonderful if you joined our family and friends if you're returning as always my friends welcome back I hope you're all well I'm sorry I've been gone for a little while but I needed a little bit of time off and I've had some issues with my Facebook account and I've not been able to post in any of the craft groups so I thought it'd be idea to have a little bit of time off so I'm back and yeah we'll get into today's craft video so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just measure the inside of this frame because I want my little miniature trellis and bench to actually sit in this frame which I'm going to do a, a later day. I'm not too sure if I'm going to do it this week or I'm going to do it a little bit later on but I'm just getting the measurements so I know how wide I can make my bench and I'm going to do it just about three centimetres. It's a little bit over three centimetres but I'm just going to do it at three centimetres and I'm going to be using some of the craft sticks from Asda you get 150 in a pack and these are a lot smaller in width and a lot thinner and they're easier to cut so I think I'm going to be using these for now um, because the only place that I'm going shopping is Asda so I've just measured out a square on a piece of card and this is going to be the width of my bench and yeah it's going to be the length of my bench as well so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut some of the sticks to the length of my square and these are so thin that you can just use scissors you don't need any wire cutters or anything to score them before you cut them so I'm just measuring my length I'm going to cut these and then I'm going to do one at the top as well so I'm going to have two that are the same length now I've got my two lengths I'm going to measure the sides and cut them as well so I'm just going to hold it in place making sure that the edge is straight and then I'm just going to pop it where I want it to be and then use a pen to mark it and then cut and I'm going to do the same for the other side as well and then I'll just glue that in place using the glue gun like so and then I'm going to do it exactly the same on the other side to make a frame so now I've done one frame, I'm going to do one, another one exactly the same. So I've got two, one's going to be for the bottom of the bench and the other one's going to be for the back of the bench. Now I'm just going to take my ruler and I'm going to work from the ends inwards and I'm going to leave a half centimetre gap in between each stick that I stick down. So I'm just going to mark a half a centimetre on either end. And then I'm going to take another stick, pop it in place and then mark it and cut it. And I'm going to work my way until I've completely covered the two sections. So now I've got my two sections, I'm just going to glue the back to the bottom using some hot glue. And once they're stuck in place like this, we can start to work on the outsides. So I'm going to take another stick and I'm going to measure across the side of the bottom of the bench and I'm just going to hold it in place and mark it and then cut it. So 
So now that I've glued it in place, I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. And then I'm going to do the same across the front as well. So I've done the bottom and now we can work around the side. So I'm going to take another stick and I'm going to measure two centimetres and mark where the two centimetres are. And then I'm going to hold the stick so that the two centimetres that I've just measured is overhanging at the bottom of the bench and this is going to form the leg. And then I'm just going to mark off the excess at the top of the bench where we need to cut the stick. And then I'm going to cut that and then glue it in place. Like so. So I've done one side, I'm going to do exactly the same to the other side. And now we can measure the top bit. So I'm just going to measure across the top and then stick another piece like we did at the bottom. And now I've measured two two centimetre strips and I'm going to glue these to the front of the bench to make the legs at the front. And now I'm just going to do the last bit. I'm going to take one of the sticks and I'm going to leave the curved edge on the end. And then I'm going to hold it roughly so I can mark off where we need to cut. And this is going to be the armrest on the side of the bench. And then I'm going to measure another one exactly the same length. So I've got two armrests and then I've cut two one centimetre strips. And I'm going to use these to glue just on the side. And then I'm just going to glue the armrest to the top and the back of the bench, like so. So now I'm going to do exactly the same to the other side and our bench will be finished. So now I'm going to start to work on the trellis. So I'm just taking one of the craft sticks and I'm holding it at the side just to get a rough idea of the height that I want. I'm just going to mark that with a pen. And I'm just double checking that that's the height that I want. I'm just going to cut the strip. And 
and then I'm just going to measure it to see how long it is and it was just over 10 and a half centimeters so I'm going to make it to 10 and a half centimeters trim off the excess and this is going to be the height for my trellis so I've cut two so that we can make the frame for one of the sides of the trellis and now I've just measuring a three centimeter gap or just less than a three centimeter gap so it fits in and it'll be three centimeters and I'm just going to measure a section cut that and then glue it to make a frame so I've done one at the bottom and one at the top so this is going to be one side so we need to do another side so I'm going to do exactly the same till I've got two And now I'm going to add a section in the center. So I'm just going to hold another stick, mark off where we need to cut, and then I'm going to glue that in place. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the other one as well. And then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to continue to add strips all the way down the side of the trellis. So I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the bench. I'm going to measure half a centimetre gap and then stick a stick and then another half a centimetre gap. I'm going to work from both ends into the middle and I'm going to do exactly the same with both of our frames that we made. So I'm going to do that with both of them and then I'll be back. So we've got our sections of our trellis at the side and now just to finish off I'm going to cover the sides. I'm just going to measure a strip and then glue one on each side and on the other one as well. So I'm going to start to work on the top section now. So we've got our two sides complete. And what I'm going to do for the top is I'm going to take three of the sticks and I'm just going to leave them the full length that they are. I'm not going to cut these. And I'm just going to pop our sides on each side just to use as a rough guide for the width. Then I'm going to take another craft stick and at the end of one of our trellis I'm just going to use this as a guide for our width. I'm going to cut two of them so we've got one end one for each end of the roof section. And then I'm going to glue our top section to them. And I'm just leaving about a half a centimetre overhang of the curved section of the longer strips so that it's not flush so it just overhangs slightly like so and then I'm going to pop the middle stick in the center and then this is our roof so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the two sides to the top
and then I'm going to stick the other side in place. And now I'm going to add the top section. So I'm going to start at the end. I'm just going to take one of our sticks. I'm going to make sure that the curved section is facing the front of our trellis. And then I'm going to mark at the back where we need to cut. And I'm going to do one at the other end and then I'm going to do exactly the same as we did with the bench and the sides of the trellis. I'm going to leave a half a centimetre gap in between each stick and I'm going to work my way from each end into the middle like so. Then the last thing I'm going to do is I just want to put a strip or a stick on the front of the trellis just to hide the edges. And I'm just going to hold that in place, measure where we need to cut and then glue it down. And I'm going to do exactly the same to the other side. And they're finished, they're built. So now I'm going to paint them in white acrylic paint. I'm going to do two coats. And then we can start to decorate it. So now I'm using some small plastic green leaves that I've got off some flowers and I'm just going to cut off small sections and I'm going to work my way around the trellis by just using a little bit of hot glue. And sticking them in place. And I'm just going to put them as and where I want them. I'm going to put quite a lot on one side of the trellis and the top. And then on the other section, I'm going to put a bit inside and just on the front. So now all my leaves are in place, I'll show you what it looks like from the front. So this is from the front and now I'm going to add a little bit of colour. So I'm going to use some purple gypsy grass that I've got and I'm just going to cut off small sections. And I'm going to use this to pop little bits all over the green leaves that we've put in place. And then I'm going to take one of these blue flowers and I'm going to cut off some small sections of this and I'm going to put them around the base of the trellis. I was going to put the blue all over as well as the purple but in the end I decided just to put a little bit around the base and use the purple for the leaves. So I'm just going to continue to do that and I'll show you what it's like when that's done. So here is the trellis with the flowers put in place and I'm really happy with how it's looking. And then the last thing that I want to do is I want to make two little cushions for my bench. So I'm just using some fabric that I've got and I'm just going to measure out some squares. So I'm going to make sure that I mark on the inside of the fabric and not the outside. I'm just going to use a ruler and a pen and I'm going to measure four two and a half centimetre squares. So I've done them like this so that they're all attached. Now I'm going to cut them into two. And this is just so that we don't have to sew one of the sides. It just makes life a little bit easier. 
So now I'm going to take my two squares, I'm going to fold it in half, making sure that the outside of the fabric is in the inside and the inside of the fabric is facing out. Now you could use glue to do this, I'm going to actually sew it and all I'm going to do now is use a little bit of cotton and a needle and I'm going to sew up the sides. So the top section will be left unsewn so we can turn it the right way around and then fill it and yeah I'm going to do it exactly the same with the other one but I'm going to do the first one first and show you. So I've got the section that's folded at the bottom I'm going to sew up each side and leave the top section and I'll be back. So I've done that now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it inside out or that it's the right way around. I'm just going to use a paintbrush as well to make sure that I can get the edges out as well and I'll be back. So now that the fabric's the right way around, I'm just going to trim off the ends, so any little bits of frayed fabric, and I'm just using a cotton pad, cotton wool pad, and I'm just breaking this up, and I'm going to use this as stuffing for my pillow or cushion. I'm just going to pop that in. and fill it and then once I've filled it I'm going to just stitch across the top or you could glue it. I stitched one and I glued the other one and then we're done. And here it is. I'm super happy with it. I've just put a little piece of grass underneath it so you could see what it looks like but yeah really happy with how it turned out. I love the flowers and the leaves up the side of the trellis. I love that it's white and yeah I'm really happy with it. So I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna do a video on Wednesday. I'm gonna finish doing this display so I'm gonna decorate the frame that I measured um, at the beginning of the video and I'm going to do some other bits and bobs for it as well so I'm going to be back on Friday and hopefully it will be completed by then so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this and it give you a little idea for something you could do for a fairy garden and I'm sorry I've had some time off guys but hopefully next week I'll be back properly so I will see you on Friday no Poundland haul this week I've not been anywhere but take care